Guys, it's time to pump up and smooth out the power on the low C hammer ray. We got a 4100 kV Polar Pro by Holmes Hobbies right here and a Castle Mamba XESC. They're going in that thing. But first, we got to put it in and we're going to take it for a drive. Let's get to that table. Let's check out this motor right here. Very nice design. I mean, just feels good in quality, you know? Now, notice you can actually adjust the timing on this thing. So you can physically adjust the timing. Not more than just, you know, obviously with the ESC, but there you go. Beautiful motor. The ESC, Castle Mamba X. This is good up to 6S, by the way. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to stick to 3S on this thing. The Firma ESC is way down in there into the middle of the vehicle, which means we got to take a lot of stuff apart. And that's going to be pretty much the entire body. These bolts right here got to come out. Got to pop this loose right here, which is known for popping loose already with my vehicle. And you got to take the front off right here, which you might could just tilt it, but we're going to try to take it completely off. This way you'll have full access to everything inside. Here we go. It's off. There's a few little sneaky ones. Got a little rubber grommet right there. They go into right there. This is one of the grommets right here. And those are the two little short bolts. Yep, gotta come out. And here you have a basic and dirty drive line. Unplug the lights back here. Unplug the lights right there and the whole body's completely off. Yeah, very, uh, very basic. <laughs> now to get the motor, you take those bolts, one, two, three loose and the motor drops out the bottom. So we'll be getting that done as well. And then the ESC and that EC5 battery plug right there. Need to see if I can do something with that. But anyways, time to get back to work. I went on Thingiverse, I found this file for a Mamba X to fit in the Losi Baja Ray. Not exactly this one. I've got to put some little spacers underneath there. And I'll add a little bit of glue under it just to make sure everything holds in place. Also, this adapter right here, which allows me to get rid of the EC5 and put my X90 in place. Yep, and I had red already loaded, and since the vehicle's got a lot of red, I went for it. The plug pushes back into the housing just like this. And there we go. Now the red wire, it's still got a little bit of looseness to it, so we're okay with that. Now, I couldn't put it around the other side because then I wouldn't have enough wires for the motor to actually take the motor in and out because you kind of got to have some slack to get the motor in and out um, without having to pull the body and all that off. So that's how the motor's going in. Now I've got some glue under the ESC and a little bit of glue underneath the mount just in case this plastic printed stuff breaks off. Now we're going to take those three bolts out right here, here, and here and drop the motor. Obviously the stock motor on the right. Look at all that heat sink. Uh, I would love to put that on the Holmes motor, but the way the tabs are at the back, it's not going to go. Hopefully I don't have heat issues because I really like heat sinks and that's a nice one. I got to admit, that's a nice one. There you go, guys. Motor's in place, ESC's locked down, everything is ready to go. Time to put the incredibly heavy body back on this thing. This is light. The body, got a lot of beef to it. Check this out right here. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo, there we go. Wait, got to turn on my radio. Okay, so I kind of blipped the throttle and this 4100 is a screamer. I mean, really much screamer. And also I got the uh, BEC set at 7.5 volts. So hopefully my lights don't burn out. Definitely got much better steering. Look at that. That's really good. Now this thing, it is, it's wild. Let me tell you, it's really wild. Oh boy. You can hear the tires just sling on that. Now this is the castle system. So you're going to hear this right here, but it's also a fast vehicle. So it's not like I'm going to be up on it while we're trying to crawl, which I'm going to try to crawl in a few minutes, but wow. 
The servo really woke up at higher voltage, guys. Really. Ooh. Wow, we need some rain. Nice. Now, I do have this ESC set up with like a crawl and a race mode. Crawl mode, got full drag brake, reverse, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and try them rocks. Oh, <laughs> get ready for the castle home. Yeah. Now, you couldn't really, you really didn't want to do this, the stop system, because uh, all the cogging. <laughs> you really don't want to do it now. a little work got up on it <laughs> uh, that's thing things like trying to crawl with a hot dog or a school bus it's not a good thing oh I think I need to leave the rocks alone. Maybe, uh, probably kill some differential gears with that thing being in crawl mode and hitting the brakes, so. Let's do a little more Baja-ish style, style stuff here. And just bounce it around. Yeah, this motor, this thing screams on 3S. <laughs> No, I'm over. There's a very good chance I'll be ordering parts after this jump. That was quite possibly the best outcome that could have possibly happened on that. It came right down the slope. That was the best possible outcome. I want to leave it at that. I don't want to go by parts. That was a sign. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to leave it. That was awesome. Okay. Uh, I just looked at that footage. That was truly epic. <laughs> I mean, that was epic. Oh, my goodness. That was awesome. This motor is a screamer, guys. Great combo with the E with the BEC and the ESC bumped up. This servo, this servo is good. Hopefully, it doesn't die on me because I'm actually really happy how the servo is turned out right now. Got in as quick as I could. Uh, 150 on the motor. That's actually not bad. I honestly, ex I expected more. That's good. I'd love to get a big, big heat sink on that though. That Holmes 4100 is a screamer. In all honesty, they can probably run 2S and be just fine. Might lose a little bit of the pitch control in the air, but it doesn't have a whole lot of that anyway. When this thing starts to go wonky because of the way the rear suspension is, there's almost no way to get out of it. You're just going to take it. When I hit that one, I expected to land way out on the flat, 
But no, the thing curved over to the left because of the way everything works on this. And it came right at me. And I was throttling, trying to keep the front end up, you know. And it landed in that little ditch on like the one little bit of down. And it went right down here. Uh, that ended way better than I could have ever possibly expected. Way better. Ah. Uh, I really need a more specific desert style terrain than what I have, even though it's super dry out there right now. Uh, hey, I'll, I've only got what I got to mess with. And the way the rear suspension is, the way it cocks up like that, it really messes with the gyro and makes the thing really darty. So hopefully when I get the new rear sway bar from Vitavon, It'll level that rear suspension out and make it a lot more predictable, especially when you're trying to run fast. So, yeah, but when you're messing around, you know, around the whoops and all that stuff, and you're driving more scale, um, it's actually really good the way it sits. It's just when you really throttle it up, and this 4100 has got a lot of juice, a lot of juice. But um, anyway... Well, hopefully you guys like the video. I'll link up that motor and everything, the Castle ESC, all that stuff down below. Make sure you check that out. I was real happy with the tips on this. Real happy with that. Check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And guys, thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.